Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's video, we talk about the brand new Solstice Awaken event. Started yesterday. We're going to try to answer all your questions, guys, because I've been getting a lot of questions on that one, guys, including how to get the petrol. So today we're going to look into the event. What is it? How does it work? What do you have to do? And how to collect your rewards well, let's get into it guys and before we start make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now for daily cut mobile videos let's do it guys so solstice awaken you gotta click on the events tab and the featured event so you got two tabs here the first one is the exchange center it's where you're gonna go to get some rewards in exchange for your currency including the epic man of war nuclear fallout nuclear fallout skin is freaking nice guys and it's probably gonna be the first thing i'm gonna buy in this event definitely gonna go all the way for that one so it's a free epic skin guys and you guys might want to go for that one also there's a lot of threads on reddit about that people on both sides of the fence i guess some guys say it's way too much of a grind but some other guys say it's an epic skin so it's okay that you might have to work for it a little bit and not just unlock everything in like two hours and then two weeks with nothing to do because remember guys the whole event is two weeks long all right so there's a lot of stuff you can get few skins but also with your extra currency at the end you can get some credits so credits always good all right so let's check out the event rules real quick now that was posted on the official social medias of call of duty mobile not the garena guys the official global okay but it's the same stuff on garena so you got two weeks to do the stuff so step one it says get kills daily in the specified playlist to collect exchange items so this is the first step guys you gotta get kills to get the items there's three items to collect all right the food ration cans the toilet paper and the petrol or the gas cans so that's what you have to collect and once you got that step two go exchange your tokens for the in-game rewards all right so i thought it was pretty straightforward but people have tons of questions now click on the second tab guys solstice awaken now these are the specified playlists that you have to play to get the in-game tokens so if you click on this right now yesterday and today we got two playlists you can play high rise or you can play juggernaut if you play high rise every kill will get you one food ration and if you play juggernaut every kill will give you one toilet paper so i played one game of juggernaut i got four kills four toilet paper juggernaut is quite a grind i only played one game and i said i'm not gonna waste my time for now trying to get toilet paper in juggernaut because it's gonna take hours and hours and hundreds of games right but in high rise you get some good game modes team that match domination you get lots of kills i got 150 in about an hour and a half less than two hours you get about 100 kills per hour so about 100 uh event tokens per hour but juggernaut is not a good game mode to get these tokens now first question where are the gas cans how to collect or how to get petrol well, you cannot get petrol today, guys. It's not in the current playlist. So you're going to have to wait for the playlist to update and check what we have here. On the same official social medias, they posted how to get exchange items. And as you can see, Friday and Saturday, you can only get the, the food and the toilet paper. But Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, you will be able to collect the petrol on other playlists. So you're still going to have high rise Sunday. But you can also play Gulag, and we don't know yet. Maybe Gulag will get the food and High Rise will get the petrol, or the other way around. High Rise will get the petrol and Gulag will give uh, the food. But we're going to have to wait for Sunday or Saturday night at the reset. Now, you will get some in Battle Royale Monday and Tuesday. Now, once again, we don't know if it's going to be toilet paper in Battle Royale, but it's still going to be quite a grind. You don't get 100 kills per game in Battle Royale. It's a long 15 minutes. And you get, depending what game mode you play, if you play solo versus squad, you can get 20 plus kills per game if you're pretty good. You can get at least 10 plus skills. Now, if you're patient, I'm sure you're going to have more opportunities to get easy toilet paper in the upcoming days. Like if you get uh, toilet paper on Meltdown or toilet paper on Rust, bruh, that's going to be awesome. You're going to get a lot of kill on Rust. A lot of kills on regular multiplayer maps so let's just wait and see guys but once again you don't have to do everything on the same day 
Lots of people complaining on Reddit right now. They say it's way too much of a grind right now. Now what they say is 500 kills on Juggernaut is going to take way too long. If you're not a Juggernaut, you don't get many kills. Uh, the thing that sucks also in Juggernaut is you can do all the damage and one dude's come in and get like the last damage on the Juggernaut and he will become the Juggernaut for just doing one bullet. Uh, that's a bit frustrating for real. And the Juggernaut will get all the kills. So yeah, it is a frustrating game mode, especially if you need to grind kills. So I would say, guys, don't stress about it. Just let it go, wait two days, and let's see where the paper, the toilet paper is going to be this week. Because there's going to be a rotation in game modes. But that's pretty much it, guys. Play the game modes, get some kills to get the tokens, and then go to the exchange center, trade your tokens for rewards. And as you can see, it is pretty expensive. To get the mana war, you're going to need 500 of these food cans, 165 petrol, and 500 toilet paper and i know it looks like a lot but it's not as much as you think if you grind the 500 kills in juggernaut well that's your problem uh if you're not patient and you don't want to wait just an extra couple days have fun with it but i'm not gonna do it guys one game here and there just for fun juggernaut is fun if you play a couple games but if you play 500 kills uh, i think you're gonna be burned guys and you're not gonna enjoy it as much so once again, make sure you check here every day, the second tab, see what the playlists are for that day and go ahead and grind. If you think it's a good game mode to grind, go ahead. Cause there's a lot of stuff to do right now, guys. There's new seasonal events also. You can get the new KRM. Uh, I stream like three hours and a half today. I got all the events for the KRM done, all the events for the Captain Arctic Blizzard. Some of these were a bit annoying, but it's cause I was grinding high rise at the same time. But if you want to just go for it, uh, you can do it much faster. So that's it for today, guys. I hope I did answer all your questions. If you have more questions, make sure you post in the comments down below and I'll try to answer. I read most of the comments every day. But once again, it's the Solstice Awaken. Just get some kills, exchange your tokens. It's pretty straightforward, but once again, some people were super confused on how to get petrol. Well, that's it, guys. Petrol not available today. Not available yesterday it should be available tonight at the reset sunday all day monday and tuesday all right so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video smash like if it was helpful i will see you guys in the next one take care